Okay. We're back, and I've looked at this, and what I did is this was originally over here. Now, I do have this up, so it'll still connect fine and still be activated if I have it over here. And I'm going to want that over here because I'm going to want to connect to this section of the, the tree because this is going to give me even more attack speed every time I crit and my build gives me a decent crit chance. And this will give me overload points, which is just going to further increase like my single attack at a time damage. Because it, when my basic attacks hit, which I'll attack very quickly and build these overload points up, I'll get 6% per overload point up to a maximum of 6, so uh, 32 there. And when once I, or no, 36, I can't do math, sorry. Uh, so... <laughs> Brain farted, my bad. Oh, I know I know what I was thinking. I was thinking the second part of that is if you use a skill like it says in the in the description, you'll use all your overload points you currently have and the bonus damage is doubled. So it doubles to seventy two if you're at max. That's where the two came from there. I mix up the two in my head. So considering I have a build where the single attack I like to build up my rage with my basic attacks and then attack with like the hammer or something. It works very nicely with my build. So I wanted this closer so I could travel into it very easily. And then I probably can even travel into this. This tr this section of the tree has a nice like survivability aspect to it. And I could still travel into this section pretty easily just going up and around here. And this has some nice survivability and single target like boss or champion type damage. But I think I'm going to want to go for this attack speed and overload first. Since that's going to really accentuate with my build right now. Or accentuate my build is the proper way to say that I think. I just love the all the detail. This environment is insane. What? I love it. Alright. Alright then. Let's go. It's just, I just love what they did with this. By the way, we're coming up pretty close to as far as I've made it. Like, I have not gotten, we're getting up to, like, in the next couple areas will basically be where I am in this my off-camera character. Contamination started. You got this. Don't turn around. That, that is just awesome. I just had to stare at that for a second. Why is my fury points not going away? Okay. Is that bugged out? Don't show you nervous. Land back! I'm coming! Wherever you're hiding! Hiding? As our honored guest, we do not hide. We are all around you. Oh, okay. So it was bugged out for a second, but it corrected itself. Oh yeah, I forgot I get that stun on a dash because of my weapon. That is very nice. That is very just effective and just quality of life like dealing with these big mobs when you charge in. Oh, you can just stand there and take it for a few seconds. You're fine. And just give me all your loot after. Uh, it doesn't work on like the harder elite type enemies. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Clean up, aisle four. Clean up, aisle four. Where's that visceral cleanup guy when you need him? Alright, let's let's clean up our inventory a little bit here. I'll push those over. 
Is it just... We got Anvil's Woe, too. Where's that? There we go. Oh, you can have it take stamina points instead. So you can spam it. Basically, just replace your dodge with this, which, is, which sets... Since this actually generates rage, that, that's pretty good. That's a lot of points, though. Increase attack speed. Oh, man. Every, I can see the way we're going to be going. This is going to be nice. Can't wait to fill out that tree a little bit more. You must admit, the only thing you should share right now is the Helion. What is that? Valeria? You're cloning Valeria! Answer me! We are doing so much more. When we are done, she will be much stronger than she ever was. Are you not grateful? Oh my god, How, I didn't even notice this the first time. There are... They're all her. I thought these were just dead bodies or something. I didn't realize... Oh my god. This is... Wow. That is amazing. Grotesque. But amazing to just... Wow. The effect of that is awesome. So what did we pick up? We picked up a, another unique here. Vanity's Plea. Another requires level 15. Uh, obviously specializes in frost and freezing. Has some life leech. But plus damage against burning targets. So if you can somehow burn the target with fire damage, this is actually really nice. Okay. Obviously I'm not going to use it on this character, but... Maybe another one will end up using it. What's the damage on it? Yeah, it's all right. You copied Hemlock too. I guess I'm next on the list. No. You and Hemlock share the same human strain, the same complexity. We failed on Hemlock. We do not want to commit energy into another doomed endeavor. Absorbing your organic mass into we will be enough for the truth. The same human strain? Uh, what are you talking about? You were modified somehow. Incidentally, your potential is impressive. Modified by whom? Your energy signature is undefinable and absolute, as if every part of the universe were merged into it. Only a being of an absurd amount of power could make a human strain gifted with the ability to feed from more energy and replicate it at will. What do you mean by human strain? Superior beings. They sometimes invest huge amounts of power to create their own versions of humans. Half-breeds, gifted with powers of their creator. Ascended. You and we are not so different after all. We both are numerous. Your human strain seems to be interconnected with each other, tapping in each other's potential to reach new heights of power. Stronger together. That's why you couldn't copy us. It seems even you have limits, Lambach. Indeed. Our honored guest. The only thing we could replicate is Hemlock's pain. The permanent suffering that could hardly be translated to words. What's tormenting him so much? He's lifted with free will. 
as long as he furthers the interests of the Blind Prince. Even though his leash is short, his consciousness only accumulates the guilt of being powerless to prevent the destruction of what he cares for. He's surprised his mind hasn't fully collapsed yet. But enough about him. Before we absorb your organic mass, we want you to know of our successes more than our failures. You shouldn't bother, really. We have made great progress on replicating her. Behold. Please, no. No! 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 Kill me! You ruined them. Luckily, we have spares. This needs to stop, Lambak. Where is the damned Hellion so that we finish this? Very well. You are close now. We will meet you there. I like, I like how it's like swing and like a baseball bat. Knocks him like over the cliff and everything. Kill me! And she's like, you ruined them! <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just move forward. We'll skip that side area. So this is the last area that I've cleared on my other character. I made it to the next area, and then that's it. This is that's as far as I've been. Ooh, a golden beetle. Oh, that did it. Just awesome. So, do we want to go into? Well, we still gotta hit this, so we're gonna get that no matter what. But do we want to go that way first, or that way first? I think we want to go that way first. Just go absurd with the attack speed, because why not? I mean, I got decent enough crit, and combining that with the fact I'm gonna be, I'm attacking really, really quickly. It's gonna activate it, so. Where'd you guys come from from behind? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, give me my stuff, come on. Oh, that's not interesting. Ah, no, it's not. Okay, it's not interesting. It's not interesting. Alright, I should put it in the yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, we must have another ascendant point. So now we can unlock a different aspect. I think I'm going to end up going with this one, the Apocalypse one, because it's fire-based, and well, I, my passives increase my fire damage, so it seems like a natural fit. This one seems more along with like the spell casting kind of thing, because like the aether damage and all that. This one does do random bleed damage, and this is the one I picked on my assassin character. It's very, it is nice. So I think I want to try maybe this one. Uh, you get more of a feel for it and experience what this one's like. Um, I need to. It's selected. Okay. It's just this didn't change. So, at least I don't think so. Oh, it changes when you activate it. Okay. I want to save it, though, and for the... What seems like an obvious upcoming boss fight.
I want to save it though and for the what seems like an obvious upcoming boss fight. Alright, so what's this one do? I have to read those skills and see exactly what I was doing there, because I'm not entirely sure all their effects. That's, I consider a really decent upgrade. Oh, I did say I was going to save it, didn't I? Yeah, oh well. We ended up using it. Another primordial catalyst like the one below Stormfall. It's redirected Gordonon's energy towards a conflux. Oh, hell. It's already at full power. Alright, let me go into town and just clear my bags up. So that waypoint. Please browse my words. That waypoint was where I made it to in my other game. So now I'm caught up. This. What does that say exactly? Corrupted Catalyst Overlook. This primordial structure that once sustained the primordials now feeds the covenant of the blind and their fallen lords. As they grow in power... Oh. As they grow in power, hope slips further and further away from humanity's grasp. Cooperation is a virtue we should know. The covenant of the blind will assist the spread of our flesh and reunite us with our lord, Ashtaroth. At this point, we need only welcome him, the Lumbach. Lumbach. Lambach? I think that's better. Alright. The Lambach. Lamb Lambach. Lambach. In order to get to the Hellion's first peace, it's now time to face the Lambach, Lambach. and end its horrors, if that's even possible. Welcome to our personal chamber, honored guest. It is here that our creator, Ashtaroth the Aberrant, Created us, so that we could bestow his gift on Cordonon. Please do offer your organic mass. We will be part of something much greater. Well, I'm gonna probably say no here. Sorry to disappoint, Lambach, but yep. it will have to be a no. You said you knew where the piece of the Hellion was. I don't see anything. You did not lie. The previous bearer of the artifact reached our chamber to defy us. The relic you want to join the Wii. You may enter in contact with it once you have provided us your organic mass, for it is inside of us. You ate it? Oh, come on, Lambach. I've had enough of your games. We finish this right now. Uh, are you coming out? There we go. Oh, that hurts. Once we replicate your strain, our armies will become unstoppable. Ah, oh, get out of that. That corruption is nasty. Am I supposed to kill that? Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. Into 
Oh, I didn't get to that one in time. Oh, she got me. Why did it jump that way? <laughs> Either it's dead, or it's really pissed off. am I supposed to do with this? I can't even hurt him. Oh, that's cheap. What am I supposed? Oh my god, what am I supposed to do with that? Awesome, but insane. That was close. Thank you. 
I kind of learned this fight now. Oh, this hurts so much. Get on this side, yeah. Got a lot more cleared. Might be able to finish him off with a our new aspect pretty quick here. We need to get on the right side a lot more open. <laughs> All right. to say I have no idea how I'm gonna beat that fight on my other character I don't know how at least now I know what I'm up against but oh my god that fights insane okay so yeah that was obviously inspired by the Diablo 3 I forget the the boss fight but the one that was like in the second act or something but they did a really awesome job with that and then Path of Exile. Mojave has everything a soldier needs. Path of Exile also did their own version of that as well. And it reminds me actually more of that one because of all Tell the different... Tell your friends, Mojave stand in the palace district. Because, because of all the different the right uh, monsters coming out, coming at you and stuff like that. And just having to dodge. Or... So it reminds me a little bit more of the Path of Exile Good to one. See you again. But man, that was... Tell your friends. I thought I was going to die a few times there. I'll just go talk to Gernays. Now that we got his relic. Is there no other way? The more you resist our prayers, the longer it will take for you to heal. You made it back. Tell me you have some good news. I got the first piece of the Hellion. Impressive. I told you. As long as one of us is left standing, hope remains. Now, you've secured a chance to stop Fury's ascent. We almost died back there. Val, 
How do you feel? Mm. I'm getting better, thanks to their witchcraft. Unfortunately, resting isn't an option. We have to join my brothers garrisoned at the Vault of Truth, where the second half of the Hellion awaits. Once it's whole again, they will march with us on the Republican fortress of Crimson Keep. You're quick to speak of war for a man that was recently wounded. We ascended are gifted with imbued resilience. So I hear. Still, it will take more than us alone to make our way to the ritual. How do you even know the conflux of energies is inside the Crimson Keep? When my order first saw the signs of Fury's ascent, we studied them. And it led us there. You were part of the Brotherhood operation that attacked it. We didn't attack it. We wanted to approach the strange structure in its center that Republicans call the monolith and study the signs of Fury's ascent to stop the ritual before it even began. However, when we arrived, the monolith activated. Demonic spawns of Fury started appearing, pacifying Republican and Brotherhood soldiers alike and sending them against those that resisted. I managed to escape due to my abilities, but Crimson Keep fell to the pacification soon after now, protecting the ritual place and Araman's coming. Crimson Keep. We used to hear rumors about it, about this strange monolith, too. It's a remote fortress in the Northern Barrens known as the Red Wastes. Yes? Yeah, it checks out. This fortress is known even amongst Republicans for its secrecy. I'm not surprised that they were using it to quarantine this monolith. Well, we know what we have to do. Hand me the piece of the Hellion and get ready to depart. The road ahead won't be pleasant. Oh, that was chapter two. Nice. Made it to chapter three. New legendary. It looks like a uh, guaranteed legendary belt. I don't know if they randomize the type of legendary you get or if it's always a certain slot that you're going to fill out, but... Uh, let me, I'll take a look at those, and I'll show which one I end up picking if it ends up being an upgrade or not. I probably will be. But I'm going to take a quick break right now, and I'll be back in a minute. 